All right, guys. Shout out to the tape fans, man. Really, really good morning. Um, man, I hope they are having a great morning. And I'm really excited for them. Uh, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate were just arrested again uh, a few hours ago. Um, you know, there's uh, fears that they're trying to escape the country of Romania. They've been there for a minute, right? They've, they've said all their propaganda. They said all their stuff. Um, it's a cry for help, guys. It, and when I mean cry for help is them going down and buying a new BMW every five minutes or, or smoking the cigars, smoking all the cigars they can, doing all the things they possibly can do, females, all that stuff, um, before they get arrested and locked up forever. Now, Andrew Tate did say that he had like 11, or 11 wives. Do I believe that? I don't know. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. The man's a womanizer. And may I kindly remind you guys is that um, Andrew Tate did brag in podcasts that he would manipulate women's taxes. He would manipulate their pay. He's getting these girls to go on camming, and then he would take most of the profit for himself as a pimp would, right? So you're, you're, uh, the charges he's facing is, uh, is sex trafficking and great charges, right? So, um, that's utterly insane. Even if he did it one time, one time too, too many, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Call yourself a force for good. Saying the matrix is attacking you. No, matrix is attacking you. You're in the matrix, uh, or either that or the matrix turned on itself. <laughs> okay. That's what my thoughts are on Andrew Tate situation. Uh, shout out to his fans, man. Uh, they arrest him again. With his, he's still wearing the same pants, man. He wears the same pants all the time. Um, is it good to say someone someone gets arrested and their life's ruined? That's a never good. That's never a good situation. But justice has to be served. Uh, he, he thought he said in a video that he could go to Romania and get away with certain things that he couldn't in the United States. Now, this is a warrant, I think, issued by the UK government. So, maybe there's a fight over, a legal fight over, hey, keep him in Romania or send him to the UK. Who knows? Who knows what's going on behind the scenes? No one really fully knows uh, what's going on behind the scenes. I know someone took a camera, inside a hidden camera, and was trying to figure out what's going on with this Andrew Tate situation. Pretty ballsy move of them to do that. And then post it on social media, right? Um... Everybody's trying to figure out what 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 they've been arrested for. We kind of already know. Maybe they found more evidence. There's a reason why they didn't just let you go. I mean, you may say, "Oh, it's a money. It's a it's a financial uh, situation, right? Where millions of dollars are being you know funded." And Romania is known to be a very corrupt country. So who knows? Is all at play here? But you put yourself up. You put yourself in this situation, right? I always say the, the, the story of Icarus where he flew too close to the sun. You know, father says, hey, son, don't fly too close to the sun. And the son's like, ah, I'm not going to listen. And then next year, the next the wax on his man, man-made wings melts off and he falls to his death, right? And father is, is very sad. And there's nothing he can do to save his son, okay? Um, you, you guys look at the story of Icarus. That is Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is Icarus. He flew too close to the sun. He did the kickboxing, maybe some, I don't know. I don't think he's doing, I don't know if he's doing male motivations back in the day. But then what he did is he did kickboxing. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Let's make some real money. Let's do cam business. Let's do a camming business with women and do some questionable things. And then after that, he's like, you know, what? I'm going to have my come to these moments. Have you ever noticed people on social media after they've done horrible things? They have their come to Jesus moment where they're like, man. I should, you know, my life I lived is, I'm going to become a Muslim now. <laughs> I'm going to become a Christian now. Because I've done all these horrible things. I made a video about Eddie Penny. Eddie Penny is a Navy SEAL who admitted in a YouTube video that he uh, used his little pickaxe thing on people. Right? Is that against the Geneva Convention or what? Now, if you guys are interested in the proof of the Eddie Penny video, you just look on my channel. Um, a few videos back, I actually have footage of him saying this. Okay? So go back on that video and look at that video of Eddie Penny saying that. And all of a sudden, Eddie Penny's a Christian. You know? Um, these guys brag about some of the things they did overseas. Sean Ryan. They they brag about, you know, the things that, you know, oh, I was a Navy SEAL. I was 
I don't know if he ever killed anybody specifically, but you know, it's all these guys like, I don't know if it's Dom. Anyways, uh, some of these guys, they all of a sudden become devout religious Christians after they, uh, after they do whatever they did overseas, killing people, by the way. Killing people on your own volition isn't a natural thing. The desire to kill people. They say that the, 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 the difference between a serial killer and someone who serves in Navy SEALs or, you know, who who likes killing. Uh, who likes killing people. As I said, like, their brain chemistry is like, you know, the, the, the amounts of their brain is like only like 25% difference. And they have the small moral quandary in their brain where they're like, you know what, I'm not going to... Hey, you guys remember Dexter? Not to cut cut the situation, but remember Dexter? His father, Harry, made a, a code, Harry's code or something like that, where Harry wants to kill, but then he's like, his father or his stepfather or whatever, named Harry, uh, is like, hey, you know, how about we uh, direct that killing towards killing bad people? So that's what these guys are, you know? But, you know, I'm going way off topic when it comes to you know, people who have the desire to kill. It's not, people say they have the desire in the nation who serve in the military have a desire to protect people. You, you kill for a living. These guys will talk about their, their coolest kills. I remember on a podcast, Mike Glover and Andy Stumpf were bragging about killing, you know, people overseas, bragging about it, okay? That's that's called a social psychopath. Um, there, Andy uh, was talking about he was bragging on his podcast about shooting uh, this guy came upstairs, he shot the guy I don't know if it's coming upstairs, I don't remember the scenario but he shot the guy basically and then his son picked up the gun and then he shot the son and he thought it was, he thought it was kind of cool that's, that's insane okay, your job is to go out and kill people, now does nations have to have armies and militaries and SEALs and special operations? Yes. Yes. So I'm not regretting that fact, but the fact that, that you can go on podcasts and talk about, oh man, I can just go willy-nilly on podcasts and talk about my coolest kills. That's not normal, okay? There's a difference in maybe doing your job, right? Say you do have to kill people, but talking about it on a podcast where hundreds of thousands of people think that's cool and they're like, now nah, I want to become a Navy SEAL because I would like to kill bad guys. It's like, where's the law, the, the, the line drawn, right? Uh, this video is on Andrew Tate. But the whole story is people try to find God. Andrew Tate tries to find God after he's done the atrocities that he's committed. There's something twisted about that, guys. Something very, very twisted about that. All of a sudden, he's not a womanizer anymore. All these horrible things. I don't know if he's trying to off himself with the cigars they said that they, at one point they thought they had found uh, um, marks in his lungs or, or cancer. He said he would never kill himself, but his lifestyle shows otherwise, right? Um, kind of a crazy lifestyle where you're, you're drinking and smoking all the time. And then you work out, I guess, to keep yourself in shape. But that's not going to, at the end of the day, it's not going to keep you from getting lung cancer. So that's just a, a theory here. I'm going way off the topic beaten path here but you know sus right so um like i say hey shout out to andrew tate and his fans man I, I bet they're loving life right now oh the matrix is attacking andrew tate this is just an attack from the matrix no it's an attack from your own devices bro you you challenge the romanian authority by saying you can get away with all kinds of stuff because the romanian government's corrupt you've said those things and then you go over there Anyways, you know, people have always said that fighters aren't very smart. It's true. That's that is a hundred percent true. You listen, look at these UFC fighters. Uh, a lot of these guys, especially UFC fighters, man. Like, look at Nate Diaz, Joey Diaz, uh, Ferguson. Look at some of these guys, and you're like, and, and no one's ever said, "Hey, you know, this guy's got major CT, CTE." No, people are like still encouraging these fights, these, these guys to fight. You know. If I was Dana White, sure, you could say, you know, here's what I would do if I was Dana White. If I was Dana White, what I would do is I would force people to retire. I would pay them out and force them to retire. Okay? I would force them to retire. The UFC makes 
millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Okay, you if you don't want to pay your fighters all that much, right? There's like a fighter for Nagani was like six hundred thousand or something like that, or two hundred thousand or six hundred thousand. No matter, it's only six figures. The fight that he did with with Anthony Joshua, he got knocked out, took some years off his life. That that those three punches took some years off his life. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And get hit that hard, you've subtracted, you've minus life, uh, years, if not months off your life, right? He made like what 20 million now after taxes. It's gonna be like, I don't know, I'd say after everything's done, said and done, he's probably gonna be make, taking home maybe 15 or 14 million, uh, after he pays his people and stuff like that. So they made a cash cow. That's probably the only thing they were thinking it when he got knocked out. They're like, you know, at least, at least. He gets $20 million and we get a cut of that. All right. So, um, but, but fighters, they just, they're not very smart. But I would pay out these guys' retirement, pay off their medical benefit. Man, that's what I would do. Guys that, like, you can see these guys. They don't know how to, like, band together and say, hey, let's form a union against UFC. If every, every fighter did that, Dana White would be forced to, I mean, he could fire everybody. Go ahead. But these are the best fighters in the world and these are the best that you're going to get. So they're gonna go, they're gonna either get out and go to the PBL or or not PBL but go to some of the other fighting leagues, right? That they're right not rival to UFC but to go elsewhere. So they could actually but they're not smart enough to, to say hey you know they've been hitting the head too many times. I think Andrew Tate's been hitting the head a few too many times. You got I mean his eye he says he's got issues with his eye, you know when he had to retire from fighting, right? He used to be a great fighter. But then he's like, you know what? I want to do sex trafficking. I want to do, uh, I want to traffic women. I want to start a sex cannabis and then manipulate women and then not think this is going to come back to bite me. Now, have they been convicted yet of sex trafficking? No. But in public opinion, you're, you're done. You're absolutely done. Public opinion says you're done. Now, they have most of the majority of the world on their side, but it doesn't matter against the Romanian court system. It could be like a few judges you know, not even a jury, just a few judges. You can have millions and millions and millions of followers, but then a few three, two, three judges, or one judge could be like, you know what? Guilty. Locked up forever. And that's what I'm hoping happens here, guys. That's what I really hope that happens here with this Andrew Tate situation. Um, they don't deserve to be out and about. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not sorry. You, you did what you did. They obviously have something on you. And if they don't have anything on you, you went to Romania, the most corrupt country in the world, and said, you know what? I'm going to spit in the faces of the Romanian government. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Now, they say, oh, well, there's other people that have canning businesses and doing, you know, trap, you know, whatever they do. Right? You are a billionaire, bro. Sorry. Billionaires, I always say this about billionaires. There's between billionaires and millionaires. Billionaires, they're Millionaires, they they're living life. They're playing basketball. They're playing sports. They're playing for some team or doing something. Right, entrepreneur. You ever seen them in a billionaires? Billionaires, they have so much filthy money, billions of dollars. They're so bored, they would get on a tin can submarine, or they get on a, a skydiving. You know, they would just be doing outlandish, stupid stuff because they're so bored because they have nothing to do in life. They have so many billions of dollars. They're just like, you know what? I'm going to like, I'm going to traffic, you know, I'm bored. I'm going to start trafficking or I'm going to get on a tin can and try to go to the bottom of the ocean. Me and three other billionaires, two other billionaires with my kid. That's, that's insanity. These billionaires, you know, dying in, in weird ways. There is only them. It's not millionaires, it's, you know, that are dying. It's billionaires that are dying. And there's, you know, obviously less billionaires than millionaires, but there's only a few billionaires at the top compared to millionaires <coughs> and they're doing stupid things because they, they're so bored and it's like you know what I'm bored I'm going to start this trafficking this this company this camming business no <laughs> flew too close to the sun Icarus you shouldn't have flown too close to the sun that's all I got for you guys today I know the video went on long and kind of meandered a little bit but it is very important and it's very noteworthy to know that hey you know, one less trafficker off the streets, him and his brother, you know, behind them, hiding behind the moniker of we would never hurt ourselves, we would never do anything to ourselves. It's the Matrix. No, it's not the Matrix. 
It's you. Look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. You know exactly. You see how miserable those guys are. The cars, the women, the cigars, all that stuff. Look at them, their faces. They know what they're facing. Look at look at all their past videos. They're smiling. Look at Trista Tate smiling. Man, I'm getting ready to go to prison for the rest of my life, man. I better, I better live it up. Smoke all the cigars I can, have all the women, have all this and that, whatever. The kids are gonna grow up without a father. Multiple myriad of kids are gonna grow up without a father. And guess what's gonna probably happen? What's gonna happen, guys? We all know what happens. The wolves will come into the into the hen house, right? Those guys that are on their podcast on Tristan and and um. Tristan and Interstate's podcast, they follow these guys around, you know, kiss their asses, right? These are the same dudes that are going to be, hey, Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, prison for life. Guess what? Those hot girls, those, the mothers, they're ours now, <laughs> right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that's typically what happens. These guys act like they're invisible, like Andrew Tate and like, man, this is my crew. These are my guys. They can't be there forever. I mean, what are you going to do? Visit them for the next couple years or so and be like, hey, bro, got your back, man. You know, hopefully you can appeal this case. Meanwhile, he's got the baby mama, you know, or got whoever, you know, on her back. Like, yeah, bro, that's what typically happens. That's what happens. <laughs> so all these women they have are going to now be with the guy, these these weirdos that they got on the, the blonde guy and the other guy and the short guy and all these guys that they have, they're working out. Workout buddies, bro. We're workout buddies, man. Hey, bro, for life. For life. Locked up forever? Guess what? At least all your stuff, everything, to those other guys. Oh, dude, you got to sign an agreement since you're never going to have my girl or my wife or you're going to leave them alone. Humans are humans, guys, and people will mate. <laughs> Okay, so hey, shout out to Andrew Tate and his friends and his and his brother and all those people. Shout out to them, bro. But the only reason why those guys are around Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate is for one reason: money, girls, fame. Those guys would be no name, no face guys if it wasn't for Andrew and Tristan Tate putting them on their videos. Now they're world renowned because I hung out with Andrew and Tristan Tate. But guess what? At the end of the day people will be people people are only interested in one thing your value your wealth and the women you got around you those guys are in good shape man they're gonna be like hey bro like you're gone hey hey man. your husband's gone or your boyfriend or whoever or whatever his name is and has gone bro like forever he's never getting out you and me you know start a family another family all and and the other women <laughs> That's generally what happens in these situations. That's the reality of these situations. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, sit on that one, okay? So hit the like, subscribe button. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. But we all know what's going to happen. Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate. Hopefully locked up for good this time. Peace.